iPhone 5S versus iPhone 6 versus iPhone SE Beta 1 speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone SE iOS 11. Now iOS 11 was released on June 5th which was a few days ago and now we're going to go ahead and test on iOS 11 and we're going to do a boot up test, an applications test, a multitasking test, a geek bench test. We're going to check the camera and check the battery drain that is going on with these phones in this video. So let's get into that right now. All right guys, so I'm going to begin with the boot up test on all three devices in three, two, and let's go. And you should see they are all booting up now at the same time and this order is how they were released and this is an area where pretty much all three devices do take a while to boot up specifically the iphone 5s has been really dragging in this department a7 chipset on the iphone 5s one gig of ram a8 chips that's slight improvement over the a7 one gig of ram here on the iphone 6 and we have an a9 chipset two gigs of ram here on the iphone se but all are running pretty buggy here so i wouldn't be surprised if maybe the 6 is a little bit faster than the se even here in this beta because they've all been really really running pretty buggy so the se says i'm the fastest on the boot up i'm the boot up champ here and we're just going to speed this video up if it takes more than another five seconds so there is the iphone 6 so the iphone 6 well ahead of the 5s and you can just see how long this 5s just takes to boot up and there it goes about five seconds later so all three extremely slow on the boot up but it goes se iphone 6 and then the iphone 5s all right guys so you know that we're on ios 11 just by looking at these control centers for the 5s the 6 and the se here now the 5s actually has a bug i'm going to show you guys where the battery charge is on each of these so we can see how it drains throughout this test here on the 5s i'm gonna to have to use lyrium info because the percentage is not working here in beta 1. so 48 percent here charge on the iphone 5s over here on the iphone 6 we are rocking out with about 68 i'm gonna turn off bluetooth to make this fair so let me go ahead and pinch in here and make sure that's off so it says not connected but it does show that it is on so there's a bug right there again on the iphone 6 so you can see this is a very buggy operating system so far so going into bluetooth you can see the control center bluetooth says it's off but i had to go into the settings to turn it off so a lot of things to be worked out here iphone se again it looks like we have an issue with the bluetooth being off in the control center going over here into the settings department i'm gonna have to turn it off manually here in the settings so that's definitely a bug here in ios if developers are watching this take no. So basically, generally navigating through the UI, when you first boot into iOS on any of these devices, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, or the iPhone SE, they all pretty much seem to run efficient. You go through the control center and you're like, oh, this is really nice. I got the new latest software update. And then you start to see things like that Bluetooth issue we had earlier, where you see apps that cannot be supported in iOS 11 yet. And then you start to realize, oh crap, what did I do? I'm now on a beta. And that's why I don't recommend you do this unless you actually know how to revert back. Pretty easy to do. Let me know if you guys wanna see how to do that down below in the comment section. But let's go ahead and close everything out here now and let's begin on this app test. So I'm gonna close everything out there, close everything out there. And if you haven't seen iOS 11, here's a new task switcher, by the way. Coming home, I do have the same applications lined up on all devices, all devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network. All right, guys, so let's begin with the calculator on all three devices in three, two, and let's go. And you can see the SE smoking on the calculator there, both the 6 and the 5S. Coming home here, looks like the, I don't know which one went home first, so you guys let me know down below. What about the phone application? Three, two, let's go. And you can see phone ready to go there first, SE6, 5S. So it's looking like the SE is still hanging on to the lead here in this test. So it looks like the 5S is going home first on that one. Let's go into weather here in three. Okay, I accidentally hit it there on the six. The six is too, too excited to get going. Let's go into the weather here in three, two, let's go. And this is an area in iOS 7, or did I just say iOS 7? This is an area in iOS 11 that has changed. It's now bigger. If you scroll down, it's bigger down here. It's also bigger in the weather section right here where it shows the hourly. So if you guys have bad eyes, it's going to be good for you. What about the camera? Three, two, let's go. 
and you can see SE ready to go six and then five S as expected. Let's go into the YouTube application and three, two, one here, we get into third party based apps and you can see the SE doing quite well there. Then the six and now the five S coming home here. Let's go into the Twitter application three, two, let's go. Another third party based application, iPhone SE. Ooh, those two boys struggling over there. Six in the 5S, about the same. What about the eBay application? Three, two, and hit that one again. Hold on. eBay, three, two, let's go. And you can see eBay ready to go there first for the iPhone SE. And got the six in the 5S. Coming home here. Let's go into Instagram. Three, two, let's go. And you can see again the SE smoking the 6 in the 5S. Well, definitely not so much the 6, it's really smoking the 5S though. Let's go into, let's see, Jetpack Joyride. This is a game on all three devices. Let me sure, make sure the mute switches are off here before we get some Jetpack Joyride theme song going on over there. So let's go into Jetpack Joyride in 3, 2, let's go. And you can see which one opens first here. Looks like we got the SE ready to go. And this is GPU related, so this shouldn't really matter with the iOS 11, but you should see iPhone 6 now second, and now the iPhone, wow. The 5S is just getting slow, definitely showing its age, guys. Let's go into Safari in three, two, let's go. You can see the SE ready to go. Now the 6, let's go ahead and run a test though. Apple.com, they just updated their website with a bunch of new products. So Apple.com here for the iPhone 6, Apple.com here for the iPhone 5S, three, two, let's go on all three devices. And you should see iPhone SE, iPhone 6 and 5S about the same. So the SE still looking like the phone for the future here. All right guys, so what about multitasking on all three devices? Let's see how iOS is handling this department. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the multitasking tray and you can see just swiping through each of the devices. Again, it would fool you into thinking it's very smooth, but it's actually not when you start doing things day to day. Let's go into calculator. You can see all doing well in terms of the system app. So what about another third party app? Let's go into Instagram, for example. And let's see right here, Instagram, actually a reload on the SE surprisingly. Let's go into YouTube here. Let's go into YouTube on all three devices. YouTube, three, two, let's go. You see pretty good. So it's actually handling the time of opening the application. Not bad there on the iPhone iOS 11 for all of these, but you can see there's just a little bit of chop there when you're going like this through the applications, just a little bit of chop on, on the multitasking. So. Definitely not quite as smooth as I would like, but not bad overall for a first beta here for all three of these devices. So it looks like that we have a winner here. The iPhone SE is definitely the fastest phone here, even with the iOS 11 beta. You know, I thought betas were slow on all of these, but A9, two gigs of RAM, it's still showing that it's faster even in these beta editions of iOS and the older phones. Let's go into Geekbench and run a Geekbench on all of these devices and I will be back when they are done. So let's go to CPU, CPU. We're gonna hit run benchmark, run benchmark, and we're gonna see the final scores of the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone SE, iOS. 11 Geekbench. All right, guys, so we got a 2526 here on the iPhone SE single core, 4360 on the multi core, so still a monster here in scoring. Over here on the 5S, about double on both less. So 1284 on the single core, 2175 on the multi core here. Now, I did do the iPhone 6, but it crashed, so we're still waiting on this one. I'll be back. If it crashes again, that means there's an issue with iOS 11 in the Geekbench app. All right, guys, so the iPhone 6 did finish, so there's in fact no bug. It just didn't work the first time. 2568 on the multi core, 1516. You can compare the scores here and see that the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S are very close. The iPhone SE just stumping them in the did I say stumping them stomping them in the geek bench scoring here so definitely a win there to the SE so that's pretty much it here for iOS 11 on the iPhone 5s versus the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone SE but let's go ahead and check that battery before we go ahead and end this video so like I say I have to go in the lyrium info here for the iPhone 5s and check it out here Let's go into the battery section once that loads. We can actually check the six in a second as well. Let me go into the hamburger menu. We're gonna go into this device. We're gonna go down to battery and you can see 42%. So the iPhone 5S lost about 6% in this small short testing here. 
The iPhone 6 lost about 6% as well. It was about 68, 67. So about the same drain there for the iPhone 6. What about the SE now? So the SE lost about 4%. So the SE is definitely the best draining battery life here of these three in this battery drain test throughout this video here. Very slight drain on the SE or a little bit of a larger drain on both the A8 and the A7. So that might show that iOS is better optimized for the more recent processors but that's going to wrap it up here for me post your comments down below what you thought about ios 11 are you going to be downloading it when the official comes out are you going to be downloading when the other betas come out like beta 2 do you want to see this content continue on the beta of these devices drop that down below like this video if you enjoyed it nick here helping you to master your technology catch you all in the next one be sure to be well and peace